Welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to make an adapter of um, double um, three pin XL out to a single four pin XL out connector and basically because I bought a, uh, a Kadas balance cable for my HD100 but my shit ran and rock the amplifier only had a um, four pin XL out socket so I had to do it myself because uh, I don't really know where I can buy one and uh, I know I can order from some local shop but those are quite expensive I mean so um, so let's start it this is the connection between the two 3 pin XL connector to the 4 pin XL connectors um, the first pin on the socket in here is uh, useless because it's for grounding you don't use it on your headphone so you simply use this uh, second pin for positive, third for negative, and um, well, actually, I just draw the back wheel so it'll be easier to looking at for soldering. Cause, uh, but but I think it's okay. Cause on the back of it, you you still uh, you can still see the uh, can I can I focus it here? Oh, no. I don't know if you can see, but here is actually the pin number on the back. So no worry, it's the same, and. Um, so these these are the tools that I need for making my project. Um, I'm just using some very cheap lead. Actually, I don't use. You can choose some expensive like Mudov uh, mixed it. Um, how to say mixed it with gold and silver or something like that. Um, uh, these are just some uh, Takumi uh, lead, lead or lead. I have no idea how to pronounce it correctly. Sorry. And for the cables, I'm still using the 47 lap uh, cables. Uh, it's some single, single thread uh, copper cable. Uh, good sounding, but cheap. And um, you need some uh, hot string tube for protecting your uh, tube after you solder it on the um, plug. And here is the new trick XL connectors. And each one of them has four parts. Um, so this is like the shell, this is the, the socket part, this is the three pin one. And this part is for protecting the cable inside the connector. And so basically it's same as same for the uh, four pin one. This is the male plug in here. And um, yeah, tools for cutting the tube and cables. And uh, the lighter is for heating up the hot string because I don't have a hot air gun so yep forgot to mention that you better have some uh, things like there's a clamp for holding uh, your components while you're working on and yeah you definitely need something like that first you have to peel off the skin on the end of the cable like that and after you finish it you can start soldering and so you first have to put on the lay uh, on the socket first uh, into those holes in here so I think it's not hot enough now yeah it's not hot enough now uh, okay okay it's okay now I'm not a uh, expert on it, on this <laughs> I don't really have much experience actually but uh, I can still teach you because it's not hard to do actually. So I love to fill it with light first and on this side. Okay, so after that, you can fix it here first. And also you can put some lead on a cable first, before putting it to...
video would probably take very long time. <laughs> but, okay. And then, you can insert it to the hole, but you have to melt the lead first. So you can plug that in. in here okay or maybe I should pause the video here it's, it's the same so after you finish the soldering work um, you, you can put the parts together but before that uh, you have to um, put on the heat shrink tubing first because it helps to protect the, um, the cable inside and I I also marked it, all the cables um, before I assembly it. And okay, so like this until the end. And uh, it might be a little bit too long. Let me check if it's too long or not. Uh, it's supposed to be shorter than this component. Um, I think it's all right. I think it's all right. And then you just use the a lighter. To hit it. So it will start to collapse. Okay, let me start in here. So after you finish the um, the heat shrink two part, you put these component back. And this shell is actually for uh, how to say um, there are some teeth kind of thing inside the, the inner part in here. So you grab the uh, heat shrink tube, and um, when you lock everything back, um, so it will prevent you from like pulling off the cables. And now I have to um, see how to. There's a um, positioning things in here. So I think yeah, it's, it's like this, and just twist it. Okay, so you finished it. The first part. And before you start soldering the free pin XLR part, remember to separate them first and put on those uh, parts first because you can't do that after you uh, solder it. And I twisted the cable together just, um, I think it looks better <laughs> like this. You don't really have to do it. And um, yeah, the clamp. And the uh, head shrink tube. Then you can start do doing the soldering on here. It's the same as the floppy part, so so you just yeah do what what I did in the floppy part. Ta da the adapter has been finished uh, and you can see that I put a tiny silver ring in here to indicate this is the left channel and I think that's it I uh, hope you enjoy my tutorial thanks for your watching and please subscribe